Hey, so we're going deep and just covering what the meaning of life is and what the purpose of life is. Let's get right into the material. Let's get to the show. Hey, thanks for watching the Blessing Report with Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. Today we are covering what is the meaning of life and what is the purpose of life. So I am not going to lie. We're going to go right into it and we're just going to get deep very fast, very quickly. Okay. So we have one purpose in this life to bring God glory and bring God honor. This is through his son, Jesus Christ, being our Lord and Savior and confessing that every um, knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Okay. So this comes from 1 Corinthians 10. Do all things to the glory of God. All right. And and everything that you do, do it in faith, okay? So that is the meaning of life. We are to bring God glory and we are to bring people into the kingdom of heaven. So the Bible says that we are in the ministry of reconciliation because the Father has reconciled the world to himself being separated by sin through his son, Christ Jesus. And this is how we are saved by grace through faith. Grace is that finished work of Christ Jesus on the cross as an atonement, a payment, a recompense for our sins because it says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. And so what our purpose in life is first and foremost is Matthew 28. Go on to all the world and make disciples. We are to make people into believers, make them into Christians, make them into followers of Christ Jesus. And this is where all our fulfillment comes in. And career and jobs follow mission, okay? So that is the fivefold ministry. Our purpose in life is to build up the bride for his second coming, the church body for the great um, day of judgment. And so this is the purpose of life to um, perfect and undefiled religion is to take care of the widow, um, take care of the orphan and be undefiled from the world. This is first John 27. I mean, <laughs> this is James 1 27. And so if you want purpose and meaning of life is to love and love is to redeem and to lead to conversion, right? And when it comes to, um, it says, the Bible says love covers a multitude of sin. And it also says that love converts the sinner from the error of their ways. And so if we are in the ministry of reconciliation, if everyone is separated from God because of sin and because of the devil and what he has done, um, then we need to have people to have a relationship with God, to come back to the Father and to be in communion with him. And this is by his son, Jesus Christ, being the son of God, being God himself and being our uh, mediator between God and man. And so what we're trying to do is get as many people into the kingdom of God to inherit eternal life as possible. And so this is by making sure that they are not giving over to sin sin, death, and destruction in hell and um, eternal judgment, but being baptized with his Holy Spirit because you are saved. It says every um, one who confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in their heart that God raised them from the dead, they are saved. And this is the endowment of the Holy Spirit. When we are um, baptized with the Holy Spirit, we're able to do supernaturally. We are born again and we are able to make sure that other people are born again supernaturally. It's not a baptism with water. This is a baptism of the Spirit with fire. And so we have to go out into all works, uh, all the world, preaching the gospel, which is the uh, gospel of reconciliation through his holy Bible. So this is by teaching, this is by rebuke, correction, instruction, and godliness, and um, reproof, okay? So this is the purpose and meaning of life, that um, we love another, one another well by the measure of what the Bible describes as love. And love is to redeem um, the sinner from the error of their ways, okay? And this is to take care of the poor, the orphan, and the widow, um, to love your neighbor as yourself and serve um, the Lord into glory. That when men look at your good works, they will glorify your Father, which 
which is in heaven. So we do nothing of ourselves. We do nothing of our vain glory. We do everything in humility because God gives more grace to the humble. It's only by grace that we're able to heal the sick um, supernaturally, to give prophetic words, um, to do um, faith, signs, miracles, and wonders, raise people from the dead, have the blind to see and the deaf to hear. This is only by God working and willing in us. We don't do anything. We are literally just vessels of his Holy Spirit doing it because all the glory, all the blame, all the honor, all the credit goes to him. Nothing um, comes to us. And so if we just continue in those ways and in those statutes, that's the purpose and meaning of life, that we can have joy. He says that the devil has come to kill, steal, and destroy, but Christ Jesus has come to give us life and life more abundantly, abundance of joy. Um, peace that surpasses all understanding. He is the Prince of Peace, a wise counselor, God, Emmanuel. And so if we worship him by committing our works unto him, anything that we do, we do in his name. Anything that we do, we do by the word of God, it will be blessed. And so this is the great commission of Matthew 28, go out all the worlds and make disciples. However you do that, however career or job um, you do that through, go. Go be be fruitful and multiply in disciples of Christ Jesus. And that is pleasing in his sight that we are good stewards over our time, finances, and money, and people, and relationships. And anything that springs uh, from that is a wellspring of life as it is rooted in the word of God, in Christ Jesus' um, finished work, as being the son of God and the Lord over our lives, okay? And so um, no matter who we are, we all have purpose. God um, works and wills in us um, to do his good pleasures, and also he has predestined us to do good works. So if you have life in your body and, <laughs> and breath in your lungs, the Lord has put you here for a purpose. You are not worthless, but you um, have calling. It says uh, many are called. Many are called. The Lord wants all of us to come into um, his joy, come into his knowledge of him, come into relationship with him, come into fellowship with him. And that's the fullness of joy that we are looking for. And so um, you have to awaken others of this same knowledge of God. And so awaken others to know that the Lord Jesus has redeemed them from sin, hell, death, and destruction, um, and eternal judgment, because that is the greatest day. We are all going to the day of judgment. This is no greater um, day. There is no greater rejoicing and no greater purpose in life, in this life um, to come, than your name being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, okay? And so what we need to do is prepare everybody our friends our families our loved ones our associates strangers that we don't know of christ jesus and as we do this as we follow him we're going to find for more fulfillment in ourselves the bible says that those who water others will be watered themselves they refresh themselves so if there is a hole in your life that is a God hole. <laughs> he is the only one that will fulfill it. But what you need to find is that as you begin to serve, as you begin to help others in your local church body, as you begin to build up and edify the bride of Christ, you yourself will find mission, purpose, and vision in your own life. But as <laughs> the scriptures say, as you sow sparingly, you shall reap sparingly. But as you sow plentiful, you shall reap plenteous. And so God loves a cheerful giver. Go out, make disciples, give um, as freely as you have received, freely give of his Holy Spirit. Baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go out, do amazing signs and wonders. Don't come in word only, but by the spirit and the power of God. Okay. And um, this is the truth that we live in, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Um, he has come to set us free from our sin, iniquity, and transgressions, and we have eternal life through him. So thanks for watching. 
Uh, <laughs> make sure to come back next week every Sunday and Wednesday, or kind of every day of the week on TheBlessedReport.com to get new videos. And make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for anyone who is looking for purpose in their life. It's, it's pretty quick. <laughs> we all have the same mission and purpose, to glorify Jesus and do everything in faith. Thank you. I love you. Join in.